Kashi Tamil Sangamum 2.0 is going to start very soon and I am with IIT Madras Director Professor Kam Kotiji who is going to talk about what is we have learned from last year and what is new in this Kashi Tamil Sangamum 2.0. Sir, what is new in this Kashi Tamil Sangamum? So, Kashi Tamil Sangamum 1.0 was a great learning for all of us. It was looking uh, under the Ek Bharat, Shreshtu Bharat. Um, uh, this program was conceived. It was brainchild for our beloved Honorable Prime Minister uh, Sri Narendra Modi ji. And uh, uh, what we learned there, we sent around 12 batches of people, 2,500 uh, people from Tamil Nadu actually uh, visited uh, Kashi. Uh, they visited in and around Kashi. They understood what's the connect between Tamil Nadu and Kashi. And they also understood not just the connect, connect in the form of, uh, you know, the technologies, the, uh, the sort of education, the business ma model, cuisines, art models, art forms, so many diverse but uh, uh, common uh, uh, common similarities that they found. And this was a very enriching experience for people who travel as a part of Kashi Tamil Sangamam 1.0. Subsequently, this became very nice that the Ministry of Education started many other Sangamams. There was a Saurashtra Sangamam the, uh, where uh, people from Tanjur, uh, belonging to Saurashtra visited Gujarat and came back and then there was uh, many Yuva Sangamams where children from uh, specifically from higher education institutions from Northeast visited uh, Tamil Nadu for example and from Tamil Nadu visited Northeast and from different parts of the country visiting some other part of the country and this is extremely important because uh, as a citizen of a nation as a budding citizen of the nation the children the youth must understand what what is India, understand the diversity and also appreciate the unity among this diversity is the strength of our culture. In this way, Kashi Tamil Sangamam was a leading example and the ministry uh, thought that let us have Kashi Tamil Sangamam 2.0. So the difference now is that we are taking seven batches of uh, uh, people from different walks of life, students, uh, artists, spiritual, uh, professionals and the like. So we have seven batches starting from the, the first train left today at the, on December 15th. The inauguration is happening on December 17th. Our Honorable Prime Minister uh, will be there for the inauguration. So what is new about KTS 2.0? We have now, uh, uh, this is going to be held in the, uh, in the banks of uh, uh, Mother Ganges and it will be in the Namo Ghat. And uh, we will have cultural programs. In this, we are going to demonstrate uh, artists from South and North uh, collectively performing to show the similarities and the uh, differences in the different art forms. There will be a lot of cultural programs. There will be a lot of debates. Uh, there will be a lot of uh, demonstrations uh, talking about the Kashi Tamil, uh, uh, Ka Tamil Nadu Ka uh, you know, connect and very also the North and South India connect. And we also have multiple stalls there demonstrating, but the number of stalls has now increased more. And there will be a lot of uh, stalls um, in terms of uh, books, in terms of handicrafts, in terms of clothes, in terms of cuisines, uh, you'll have food stalls. And all these things will be demonstrating the great connect that India as a country has between South India and North India and specifically between Tamil Nadu and Kashi. So when IIT comes, you know, IIT roles come anywhere in any kind of event. In my mind, every time it goes like what is new for the uh, in education field for the concerned people and what is new as in a startup because you have produced many startups. So is there any kind of a, uh, operation going on where you're going to engage the talent from the concerned place? So, two important initiatives that got started because of KTS 1.0 in which we are very happy about it. So, initiative number one, uh, IIT Madras has been establishing a rural interaction centers where we go to the villages, uh, 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 establish a television set and uh, uh, some uh, amount of compute facility and a camera and an internet connection and volunteers interact with those students between 6 to 8 p.m. every day on some of the topics uh, related to the school. They encourage them to basically, uh, you know, take up higher studies. They also have some time to interact with the parents 
to basically convince them that they must educate their children. Uh, India's uh, gross enrollment ratio is around 30 and as per the national education policy, we need to touch a gross enrollment ratio of 50% by 2035 and this is very, very important. I am very happy that after KTS 1.0, uh, we have established 100 rural interaction centers in Varanasi. Uh, uh, it is uh, uh, done by IIT Madras, IITM Pravartak Foundation and Open Mentor, all based out of Chennai. And now we are interacting with the children there between 6 to 8 p.m. Uh, on a daily basis. And we are basically giving them uh, found STEM education. We are also talking about higher education. I'm also very happy to tell in the last 8 to 9 months, of this existence. Um, we have been uh, doing regular micro-assessment and every kid, the score, average score has improved by 15% and I am confident that if they touch around uh, you know uh, a, a another 15 more percent, they will easily clear some of the eligibility tests that we have for our BS data science and AI. And uh, one of the biggest outcome here would be the outcome that will be very satisfying to me as a director of IIT Madras is that if Varanasi rural children come and join our BS data science and programming program as a student. And I, I'm sure that's not far off. The second important initiative, that is the Sankara I mission uh, based out of Coimbatore. Uh, they are establishing an hospital, Junjunwala Hospital uh, in Ka Varanasi, uh, which will serve up to 30,000 free surgeries every year. Uh, uh, for people in and around Varanasi and uh, it will also screen around 200,000 children, school children uh, for any eye defect and basically ensuring that uh, people in and around ha Varanasi have a very healthy eye. And, uh, and in this process, they are also already training, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, girls, nurses from Varanasi who will be employed in that hospital. So, they provide employment opportunities and the doctors in and around UP will also be employed there. So, it also gives a lot more of employment opportunity. The foundation stone for this was laid by the Honorable uh, Finance Minister, uh, Madam Nirmala Sitaraman, in the uh, while Kashi uh, during the KTS 1.0 and this hospital is uh, to start to be inaugurated in September 2024. So these two are very interesting uh, developments that has happened as a relation, as a bond between Tamil Nadu and uh, Kashi. So this is uh, Professor Kamkoti who is the director of IIT Madras and who has to say that you know as the name defines Sangamam. So it's not only the Sangamam of two cultures, it is all Sangamam of education, the opportunity of between two states, what is available and how we can create employment and how we can facilitate the ideas for startup who are there and investment, angel investment. With the camera person Arun Ratesh Ranjan, DD News Chennai.